Look at those adorable droopy jowls. What a cute puppy. Unfortunately for us, jowls aren't quite as endearing in humans. Jowls tend to occur naturally as we gain excessive fat around our own jaw lines. Various procedures, including liposuction, are used to treat this loss of chin and jawline definition, as well as facial fillers. The author of this innovative hot topic in PRS took a non-invasive approach. Instead of using a filler, they actually used something called ATX 101, which is truly deoxycholic acid, to reduce the jowls in their patients. The authors demonstrated how to precisely mark each patient's face for safety and efficacy. During the injection, the fat and skin was pinched and pulled away from the underlying muscles and nerves. ATX 101 is then injected perpendicular to the jowl and its fat pad. After the treatment, each patient and two independent plastic surgeons assessed unlabeled before and after photos to see if they could correctly spot which set showed postoperative improvement of these jowls. Look at these photos of the same patient. Which one is the before and which one is the after? Which one shows improvement in jowl appearance? If you said this one was the post-op, then you're right. After these assessments, this study concluded that ATX 101 had improved jowl appearance in 98% of patients. So if you are having jowls or beginning to think you have jowls, you don't need to roll over and play dead. There are so many other options today to potentially redefine your jawline. Remember, there are multiple things that make up a mandibular border. It's the masseter, it's your jowl, and it's even your buccal fat pad. The jowl is one thing that this drug will use. The masseter can be treated with Botox. Buccal fat removal is indicated only in select patients that have fullness in the lower half of their face. Know before you go, see a real plastic surgeon.